For the past few months, French intelligence services and anti-terrorist judges were dreading an attack of a much greater scale than the ones that struck Paris in January and killed 17 people. Their worst nightmare materialized on Friday night in the Stade de France and a busy area of Paris, always full of life. Several restaurants and bars in the 10th and 11th arrondissement, a mixed and gentrifying part of town, were hit by eight suicide bombers with explosive belts and automatic guns. Three or maybe four of them blew themselves up in a concert hall, Le Bataclan killing at least 80. France is more vulnerable than other Western countries. More than 500 French citizens have joined ISIS or another terrorist organization in Syria. It's the largest contingent of foreign jihadis. French authorities estimated that 2,000 French citizens were linked to jihadi cells. With these attacks, France has entered a new era, the era of mass terrorism. President François Hollande described the attacks as an act of war. But now fear is creeping in. Sirens have stopped blaring, but streets are empty. Ten months ago, the shootings at weekly magazine Charlie Hebdo had prompted marches across the country. But this time, people are staying home. They fear for their children and for themselves. Anne-Sylvain Chassani, Paris Bureau Chief.